Okay, let me be real with you guys. My style has always been kind of flop. Okay, I'm trying to like hang you in this plant because I don't have a tripod. So, give me a second. You know what? No. Yes. No. Yes. Anyways, my style has always been kind of flop. Especially this year, I feel like with classes and everything, like I just wanna be comfortable, especially if I'm like sitting. I don't wanna feel like tight and scrunched up. And you know what? So I would just wear like biker shorts and everything, but I am trying to step up my style, okay? Okay, I got this. I got a bag. Me with a bag. And especially like the place that I'm interning for, all the women there are just like, Skin, hair, like body, face, everything is just a 10. So I'm really trying to like step it up and stop looking so crusty. Like it's not, it's not cute. <sighs> We're gonna go shopping again. I'm taking all of this and I'm selling it because it's trash. I mean, honestly, some of it is cute. Like this is cute. It just doesn't look good on me. And I, I kind of came to that realization that I have a lot of clothes that are cute. She doesn't look good on me. And also a lot of clothes that I've overworn and it's time to like spring So, I'm just gonna go shopping and I'm gonna get some like sexy clothes. Cause I'm sick of, like why in, I got this at like a Goodwill. And in what world did I think this would work? It's just, it's not, it's not me, it's not, it's frumpy, it's thick, it's honestly really uncomfortable, and I live in Arizona, like why, I don't need a big jacket like that. This, it's a cute color, but the words make it chuggy doogy. So, let's go shopping. Sweating, but it's fine. <laughs> my dad has been hounding me to clean my car for like months because that's how long it has been since I cleaned it, it's months. And I didn't do anything. And then I had a boy tell me that my car smelled like salad and go. And you know, the next day I went and cleaned my car. It's like, we show where my priorities are at. So, um, sorry dad. So anyways, I got my first chemical peel the other day and oh my God, my skin is on another level of like glowing. I got the no peel peel, which is exactly, yo, stop moving gear. I'm trying to tighten this hoe, keep her where she is. Um, it's exactly what it sounds like. Your skin doesn't peel when you get this treatment, but it does the same exact thing as any other peel would, but oh my God. Okay, all right, hey. Oh, and I finally started wearing sunscreen. I know it's bad, I used to be that bitch. She was like, I want a natural tan, like I can't fake tan. But I also wanna look like I'm 30 when I'm 50. I want my skin to be nice and smooth. I don't wanna be like, I don't wanna be all leathery, you know? So I'm gonna start taking care of my skin. I have really sensitive skin, I have rosacea. So the peel that I got is meant to help with like acne and rosacea. It kind of pulls some of that pigment out. So hopefully I'll have less red cheeks once I'm done with this. But when I first got the treatment, it didn't hurt. It just kind of felt like a little burning sensation like right up here, but not even like burning. It's more like a tingly, just like hot feeling. I don't want to be like, my skin was on fire. But I'm also just kind of a, a baby. And I was like, is my skin on fire? But I'm also gonna flip you guys around because this bridge is so pretty. Like what? There was one time there was this guy that I liked and we were hanging out and I remember he took me on this bridge and he had like a super fast, like nice car. So I was like, <laughs> and he took me on that bridge and we were driving, we were driving up that bridge because we had to go bail his friend out of jail. Call the judge and oh. get some fudge. So that was a real romantic night. He like asked me, he's like, yeah, we should hang out. He picked me up in his car. We went over the bridge and we were heading to the, it was either the Tempe or the Scottsdale police station, but we went to go pick his friend up from jail. 
it was an interesting experience. I thought I was just gonna hang out with this guy, but then instead we ended up hanging out in like a crack house until 3 a.m., so. Love that bridge though. It was very like romantic in the moment, like the twinkly lights and it was dark and he was like driving really fast. And I was like, oh my God. But then everything from there was downhill because I didn't think that we would end up at the county jail. Picking up his friend. destination I don't know if this only happens to me but every time I go shopping I always have to <laughs> I always get that feeling every time I'm out shopping so I'm like <gasps> so hopefully they have a bathroom in this one cuz <laughs> my lips look juiced I went for a juiced up look today but yeah I don't know why I, I think like shopping like activates my my gut or something but hey girl i don't know where i'm going with that i got a shirt from forever 21 that's all we got i did not get anything from that one store i couldn't justify spending 55 dollars on a dress that i kind of liked so we're back to square one now we're gonna go to this thrift store but my friend found some really hot shit here like stuff from misguided princess polly can i help you call the judge and call get some fudge Call the judge and get some fudge. Can, are you okay? Nope. All that good stuff. She give me reverse, she be on her knees. Do it so good, I be cutting my feet. Best thing about her is all of the green. She don't be stopping, she get what she needs. Stop by my honey, better be cause. Look at her funny, we're gonna brawl. Do it 100, I'm bringing the chalk. And for my next number, I'm getting applause. I can't get mine, you can't get yours Baby, go and smile when I take care of the problem I'll be just fine, how about y'all? Baby, go and smile and tell me that it's all There ain't a world that can be solved with a massage, babe So would you call him for job, babe? All day, yeah Cutting her clothes, know how it goes Keeping it swallowed, babe Okay, so I realized I did not film an outro. Here it is. These are all the clothes I bought and go.